Max Branning, played by Jake Wood, spent most of this evening's episode of EastEnders trying to avoid the local police. He was particularly shocked when he realized that a stolen car had been placed on his lot, causing him to panic. While Rainey, Tanya Franks, was not too concerned about the mystery motor. Max was positive that Phil Mitchell, Steve McFadden, had taken it upon himself to stitch up the unfortunate Branning. Of course, he was correct, but Phil didn't expect Rainey to pull in a favor from an old friend. She later revealed that she had a friend in Ilford who could remove the car for them and sell it abroad. Max Branning, played by Jake Wood, spent most of this evening's episode of EastEnders trying to avoid the local police. He was particularly shocked when he realized that a stolen car had been placed on his lot, causing him to panic. While Rainey, Tanya Franks, was not too concerned about the mystery motor. Max was positive that Phil Mitchell, Steve McFadden, had taken it upon himself to stitch up the unfortunate Branning. Of course, he was correct, but Phil didn't expect Rainey to pull in a favor from an old friend. She later revealed that she had a friend in Ilford who could remove the car for them and sell it abroad. But little did Max know that this rogue car was just there beginning of his problems. Later on Phil received an email that could mark the end of Max's current stint as car dealership. Owner. The email was from none other than former soap villain Fi Browning, Lisa Faulkner. She had emailed Phil to inform him about the true ownership of the company. Fee's email read, sorry but Waylands signed the car lot over to Jay Brown. You will have to direct all your inquiries to him as owner. But little did Max know that this rogue car was just the beginning of his problems. Later on, Phil received an email that could mark the end of Max's current stint as car dealership owner. The email was from none other than former soap villain Fi Browning, Lisa Faulkner. She had emailed Phil to inform him about. The true ownership of the company. Fee's email read, sorry but Waylands signed the car lot over to Jay Brown. You will have to direct all your inquiries to him as owner. Could this email be pointing Phil towards taking Max out once? And for all? If he were to get his hands on Jay, Jamie Bothwick, he could take over the car lot as the true owner. Alternatively, Phil may attempt to buy the lot from Jay to become Max's new boss. What's more? Fee's email may be a hint at her inevitable return to the soap after an abrupt exit in December. Fee was last seen assisting Max with his revenge on Walford over Christmas. Could this email be pointing Phil towards taking Max out once and for all? If he were to get his hands on Jay, Jamie Bothwick, he could take over the car lot as the true owner. Alternatively, Phil may attempt to buy the lot from Jay to become Max's new boss. What's more, Fee's email may be a hint at her inevitable return to the soap after an abrupt exit in December. Fi was last seen assisting Max with his revenge on Walford over Christmas. Meanwhile, Last night on Coronation Street an ex-Eastenders actor was spotted at a dinner party. Hugh Edwards actor Richard Delis was seen in last night's double bill which saw him pretending to be a marine biologist to fool Angie Appleton, Victoria Econoy. Hugh was last seen on the show in 1999 after a three-year stint. He was notorious for winding up Ian Beale. Adam Woodyart, in the 90s. EastEnders continues tomorrow at 8 pm on BBC One. Meanwhile, last night on Coronation Street, an ex EastEnders actor was spotted at a dinner party. Hugh Edwards actor Richard Delis was seen in last night's double bill, which saw him pretending to be a marine biologist to fool Angie Appleton, Victoria Econoy, Hugh.
was last seen on the show in 1999 after a three-year stint. He was notorious for winding up Ian Beale, Adam Woody, 